Tori says, hey Crystal, I used to hear music or talking, like a radio broadcast almost, within the humming sound of a fan. Much later, I thought maybe I could control this, and I asked God to stop those sounds. Sure enough, in time, they stopped, and I haven't heard anything since. Crystal, what are these sounds? I love experiencing a musical symphony or any music in my dreams. It's so refreshing and stays with me for days after. What does this high vibration music in my dreams mean? Now, this is such a cool topic because there's a couple of different things going on here. I believe that if we all learned how to work with our clairaudience, and that's the ability to hear into the world of spirit, like if we went through the practices of really learning how to listen, then we would all hook into and pick up on this hum that she's talking about or what could sound like a broadcast or people talking and when I hear it it often sounds like people are talking but in a mumbled or muffled way and maybe like three doors down so I can't make anything out clearly unless I go into a meditation and I pay attention to it very passively sometimes when I do that I can start making out words and sentences and then connect with whoever it is that's talking but I want to speak first Tori about the fan thing because that's so interesting do you know why that is do you know why so many people use white noise in order to talk to spirits or in order to interface with the world of spirit it's because there is a unique energy and a unique vibration that the white noise and in particular the fan brings to the equation now I remember listening to coast to coast I want to say many years ago and there was this dude and I want to say he's from Puerto Rico and I don't know who he was and I can't give you any references but I remember him talking about how he had been speaking to an entity through the fan and the fan created the portal the energy of the fan and the wavelengths contained within the sound of the fan made it easier for that entity and indeed I believe all sorts of and entities to speak with us because let's think about what entities are actually doing when they're communicating with us when they're showing up in our space and we can see them with our eyes or when we can hear them talking or singing what's happening there well what the entity has to actually do is combine their energy with the energy available to them in the situation so often they will use our energy they'll use the ambient energy of the space and they'll also use energy like white noise or energy like fans. And so it's not uncommon to hear voices within the fan. And it's not always an earthbound entity. It's not always even a deceased loved one. Sometimes there are other high level beings that are actually speaking or singing or toning or giving you an evidence in the music or the sound of the fan. It's important here not to ever be afraid of this kind of stuff and to just really get clear and okay with the reality that in this human existence, we only perceive about 1% of what is available to know in this reality. So we're only seeing a little bit. We're only hearing a little bit. And so when we start seeing new things, it's not a bad thing. It's an indication that we as spiritual people living in human bodies are actually opening up and expanding our consciousness. Now let's move a little bit to the dream part. I bet there's a lot of creatives out there. And in particular, I bet there are a lot of musicians out there or singers out there or people who play instruments. And in fact, I am a musical person. For many, many years, when I was back in the Christian church, I was a worship leader. I traveled the world as a missionary, singing to people in different villages. Like I was always singing. And I always thought that that kind of was where I was going to go in my life. But music has always been a conversation conveyor of energy and messaging for me and the reason for that is because music is sound sound is energy sound is energy that's moving around sound is energy that carries vibration into us away from us into spaces etc and so I've always been really sensitive to spirits transmissions via sound or a spiritual connection that is enabled via sound or singing or toning and as a result that shows up all the time in my dreams. I can't tell you how many times I've woken up in the morning and I've had lyrics and musical notes and chords and sometimes 
an entire song downloaded into my consciousness via dreams. And I also remember spending time in my dreams, which is just another way to say spending time in the astral, hanging out like in choirs or in the symphony that you describe. A lot of us musical types, a lot of us who have these types of abilities with sound and resonance or these receptors to sound and resonance, we like to split from the body at night, go out into the astral, go up into the upper levels, and then hang out with other people just like us. That's what we do in our waking life. So why wouldn't we do that when we're not awake? Now, I can't possibly end this podcast episode without talking about NADS, N-A-D-S, the most unfortunate title for any book ever. <laughs> this book was written by D. Scott Rogo, who was a paranormal investigator and who wrote so many cool books, guys. Like if you could just go up on Amazon and see all of the books that he wrote, they're fascinating and awesome. But he did write one book or no, two, maybe two, two or three, I don't know, called NADS. And essentially this deals with the music of the spheres. It deals with this phenomenon where we hear music, we hear the hum, we hear the tones. And he asked the question, why? And so I would encourage you Tori to see if you can find those books and maybe read them so you can understand what's happening a little bit more but through reading those books myself I determined that often that hum that resonance those tones and that music is literally the sound of the most proximate dimension you know there's more than one dimension we're in the 3d dimension there's 4d 5d 60 and then people speculate forever there are a lot of dimensions in our particular density and a density is just a house that holds the dimensions and as we enlighten Tori and as our consciousness does expand we draw closer to the higher dimension those higher levels of perception and as we draw closer guess what we can actually hear what those dimensions sound like because they're vibrating they're moving around they are emitting a frequency the more spiritual work that you do the more you're going to hear this music and the more your eyes will be open as well don't be shocked when weird things start happening in your environment it's all because you're connecting on that deeper spiritual level tori this is just clear audience you have the ability to hear into the world of spirit it is an awesome gift you can work with it and expand on it and it can really be a means through which spirit draws closer to you and communicates with you thank you for that awesome question tori and if you have a spiritual metaphysical or personal question Question that you would like me to answer or for me to take to spirit, please feel free to write me again at TuesdayQuestions at CrystalAndCompton.com. And until next time, I hope that you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.